Next into the den is Mustafa Mehmet from Kent, an entrepreneur on a mission. I want to make a mark and a difference and be a leader at something rather than just do a regular job. I've always kind of been that driven and that ambitious. And he'll do whatever it takes to get investment in his innovative product for the beauty industry. So if they really start giving me a hard time, I'm just going to fight back and stand my ground, stick to my guns. But will Mustafa's business idea put him in the dragon firing line? Hello, dragons. My name is Mustaf Mehmet. I'm the founder of a company called Wellgel London Limited, and I'm here today to ask for £70,000 in exchange for 35% of my company, um, new startup company. Wellgel London Limited is a unique, all in one, natural, non toxic gel nail system. Um, Aisha is going to demonstrate the ease of application as I'm doing my pitch. Um, there's, it's completely chemical free. Um, and the idea of it is to provide a faster, healthy alternative to the gel nail industry with only an application time of 15 minutes as opposed to 40 minutes with conventional systems on the market already. Um, the industry today, just in the gel nail market, is worth 453 million. Um, so it's, it's vastly escalating by 35% every year and it's become the number one beauty selling product. It's overtaken lipstick sales. We have sparked an interest on Facebook. We have 2,396 followers. But you're looking to potentially invest in a company that wants to make a change in an industry and lead by example um, with a new natural alternative product. So remember the next time, ladies, you have your nails done. Don't just be gel, be well gel. A polished pitch from Kent-based Mustafa Mehmet, which he hopes will nail him a £70,000 investment. In return, he's offering a 35% stake in his business, supplying gel manicure products with a natural twist. Thank you. A simple proposition, but Deborah Meaden is a little perplexed. I'm fascinated. How did you get into nails? Uh, <laughs> Forgive me, but you don't look. <laughs> no. You don't look like the target market. No, um, so I used to be a car sprayer before. A car sprayer? Car sprayer and panel beater, and I used to customise cars. Brilliant. Went from spraying cars for McLaren, Mercedes, Ferrari, Aston Martin, to wanting to understand why when I spray a panel, does the paint even stay on the panel? So I studied rheology, which is the uh, study of paint. And to me, this is just another paint system, and my surface is a nail rather than a car door or the paint on your walls. OK, but fill in that gap. At what point did you sit there and think, sp spraying your Ferraris <laughs> in your ass? I know, what I, I know what I'll do. I'll create some nail gels. I mean, how did that happen? So I went to the salon with my sister. She was getting her nails done. I'd been there for about 40 minutes. The back of my throat was getting irritated. <laughs> I was feeling quite... i go out for air because of the environment. And I was just looking the way they achieve an end finish. They use three to four different components to end up with one finish. So I thought I could re-engineer this and make it a better product. I think that's absolutely brilliant. Um, is this your product? Have you actually created...? This is my developed product. How much quicker is this than the, the existing so method? It's a 15-minute application. So on average, um, if you do a manicure and a gel application, it takes an experienced manicurist, half an hour to 40 minutes. So, so more than twice as fast? Yes. You can double your turnover from the same premises? Yes. Some of them actually use it as an express gel um, right. alongside their existing gel products. You've come in and you said, this is quicker than anything else. Mm-hmm. It is. And I know it's not. But now technicians who have been in the industry for 20 years have told me it is. But it's not, because I know that there are other products out there that loads of people have, that I've had, where you go in, you've got to be really quick, it's one coat, cure, out. That's, that is your product. So, so, so there's, there was that claim. So is your point of difference the environmental bit? 
My point of difference is the environmental bit is completely non-toxic and expectant mothers can wear it. So I'm the only one that can literally state, and it, it has it written on the bottle, that it's suitable for pregnant women. Mustafa calmly covers all the bases and seems to be keeping Sarah Willingham on side. But is Deborah Meaden convinced by his claim that the product is non-toxic and natural? So, Mustafa, it's taken out all those nasty, bad stuff in the existing product, yes? yes? There are no um, carcinogenic uh, materials in there, so there are, it's not a solvent-based product. So you've got the facts that can back that yes. up? Yes. It's been SGS tested, um, which SGS is an independent body that tests chemicals, and they do their own due diligence. I've got the documents to say it's non-toxic. Actually, I might read the document, if you don't mind. And, and by the way, it's very non-toxic is very different to natural. Natural, yeah. Oh, I'll find it. Oh, sorry. It's, um, because <laughs> it's split in two, sorry. Pass it to me. Sorry. There you go. And it's I will there. find it. It's through Thank there. you. This is something that you'd like to start. This is something that I'm really passionate about, because I've so got So if other... you start this... Yeah. ..as a start-up... Yeah. I mean, how are you going to pay yourself? Um, through, through investment that I'm yeah, seeking yeah, today. Yeah, but, yeah, but 70 pounds is not going to get you very far. It will get the product out on the market to do beauty shows, trade shows. Show me an order. I haven't got an order. I've oh. got an interest. And that's, <laughs> Listen, but that's why I'm, I'm an here. expert. You know, all due respect, I mean, you're going to struggle. You will struggle. And I think 70 pounds is not enough. You're going to need three or 400,000 to have any chance of getting this out there, you're going to run out of money. I don't believe, apart from money, that I can add any value to this. Do you own the rights to the formulation, or so is it...? So I own 50% um, of the formulation, which is the important part. It's been co-developed with a laboratory in China. So half of this is owned by somebody else? By the laboratory. It doesn't hit me as an, as an investment for, for me personally. And I think you, it's something that's got to hit with you and you've got to get excited about it. It almost seems too good to be true as well. So there's quite a lot going on. Um, and if another dragon invests and it becomes successful, then I'm just going to end up being well gel. But um, I'm going to say that I'm out. So when you talked about it being safe and natural, completely, it says here it's not carcinogen carcinogenic. Yeah. So that is absolutely right. I wasn't expecting to read words like harmful if swallowed, absorbed through skin or inhaled, causes eye skin and respiratory tract irritation. Why would I read words like that on a really safe and natural product? So most products, if they're swallowed, or, or put on the skin for an, a long length of time would would irritate the skin, depending on someone's no, allergies. Not, a, not at the level of natural. I thought we were talking about a safe, natural product. Use neoprene gloves. Chemical goggles should be used in combination with a full face shield. Mm. So they're, they're generics um, of most paint products. So you need to wear gloves, you need to it, wear eye protection. You can't use words of this is a non-toxic product when it is a toxic product. They don't say on a non-toxic product, keep individual calm, get medical attention immediately. I assure you that is just a generic format for any paint product on the market, whether it's water-based. You didn't say this is safer than the other paint products. You said it was non-toxic. So on the nail, not the skin, it's non-toxic. It's non yeah, no. This is actually saying that heated up to a certain heat and if there's any mist or if there's any spillage, it is toxic. Like petrol is at a fuel station. If it's heated up at a certain temperature, everything's got a flash point. I'm sorry, you're, you're now changing the story that started completely natural and non-toxic and you're now saying, well, actually, yes, but, you know, in the real world no, out there, everything I, has I'm a I'm just like trying to address what you've asked me. It's not what you told me it was. And the bit that you, you misled me on is the bit that really, really had my interest. Um, I'm glad I read that, but I won't be investing. I'm out. 
The entrepreneur may have stood his ground, but ultimately he failed to convince a disillusioned Deborah Meaden to invest in his startup. Thank you very much. Good luck. He leaves the den with nothing but a belief that he's been misunderstood. Deborah made some harsh comments about it being, um, you know, not non-toxic in relation to the skin. The product's for nails, you know, it doesn't damage the nail. I stick to my guns. I shall carry on uh, in my journey to get it into the market and just get it out there, really. 